just want to make a sh short announcement. They're trying to drown us out, but they will never, never do it. Never. Now, another thing I want to point out, when we asked a moment of silence for the people that were killed protecting our country, they played their music. So try. Know what they are. Okay, I'll be talking again short. But I talk louder, can you hear me? They got more funding than we do. <laughs> and they have all the musicians. I want to let everyone know the Community Watchdog Project was founded in September of last year. Many of us were originally part of Southern Connecticut Immigration Reform, which was founded a few months earlier in response to the Elm City ID cards here in the city of New Haven. We broke away to form Community Watchdog Project to focus on legislation, litigation, education, and elections. And we are involved in every aspect now. Currently, we have an appeal to Superior Court filed against the city of New Haven in regards to our Freedom of Information case asking the state to release the records of the ID card holders. We are currently in the process of filing a discrimination lawsuit against the city of New Haven in regards to the duration of residency requirements when you sign up for the Elm City ID card. We have been working with Immigration Reform Law Institute out of Washington, D.C., and Attorney Michael Heffman, who is their general counsel. Recently, San Francisco pulled out of their ID card program, which is a major success, and it was due in part to what we did here in New Haven. California recently found that it was unconstitutional for illegal immigrants to get in-state tuition because they cannot claim residency in California because they cannot claim domicile in the United States. And that is a major victory for Michael Huffman and Immigration Reform Law Institute. Right here in the city of New Haven, there's roughly 15,000 illegal immigrants with five coming in every day. That's a cost of $71 million a year, plus $8 million each additional year, plus the uh, inflation for the city of New Haven. But the mayor chooses to cut city jobs. He laid off 35 people yesterday. He chooses to cut funding for senior centers, homeless shelters, soup kitchens, and the police substations. He's still asking city unions for concessions, and he just raised taxes by 14%, yet he continues to encourage illegal immigration to his sanctuary city policy and his own city ID card. Now don't let the mayor fool you when he tells you that the sanctuary policy isn't a public safety risk to the people here in New Haven. The statistics show that over 50% of the illegal immigrants arrested on administrative warrants filed by Immigration and Customs Enforcement are violent criminals. But right here in the city of New Haven, if they happen to pull an illegal immigrant over and they run him through the national database and he comes up with a nice warrant, the cops let that person go. And there's a 50% chance that they are a violent criminal. This mayor is a tyrant, and we must fight against this American injustice until we defeat New Haven, we win in the state of Connecticut, and we move forward in the United States. Many of us, many of us, including Armin Syria and Ted Kaczynski, went to Washington last week to the National Conference with FAIR and many national other organizations. We met grassroots activists from across the country, and I can tell you that people are fighting as hard as we are here. We have a tough battle in this state with this mayor and our lazy governor who refuses to get involved with tough and take tough stances on tough positions. But we will convince them, we will continue to fight for legislation in this state, and we will continue to file lawsuits against the city of New Haven until either the mayor goes to prison, we beat him in court, or we knock him out of office next year.
So together we stand united in solidarity against the foreign policies of Mayor John DiStefano. Whether you're black, brown, white, yellow, or red, whether you're Republican, Democrat, independent, green, libertarian, or constitution, we will stand together as Americans so that we can have a better tomorrow, so that we can make sure that our jobs are not lost, our wages are not decreased, and our cities and states are safe. I thank you all for coming here today, and now I'd like to let Alan Felder speak.